Okay, so another trial is in um, validating the NMN, November, Mike, November, as the military would say. So I'm always short and to the point. We'll do some of the uh, other stuff at the end. So listen, first trial was pre-diabetic women. So that came back. Um, I did a video on that. You can see that previously on the channel. This um, this trial here, human trial of NMN, was for 65 and older males. Uh, was a success, I will tell you right up front. So let's just go over a few things that they did measure um, was confirmed. Um, today is July 8th, so I would like to date the video so you can see how you know how old and recent it is. So this is uh, current. Um, even if you're looking at this a year later, you, this will give you a good start of where we came from. So second trial, 65 and older men, uh, which were in good health, took NMN. So they took 250 milligrams per day, 12 week trial. And these are some of the results. So NMN, um, they wanted to know if it would increase your NAD levels as it did in animals they did see a significant increase in the NAD levels in the blood after taking this NMN for 12 weeks. So that is a go. So that's a positive. That's excellent. Like this is what we're looking at. If you don't know, David Sinclair did some of this uh, in mice um, a couple years ago, I guess, and it gave them more energy. Like they were able to get up and run farther. They were able, they were stronger than the other mice. So they were just all around better than the other mice that did not have this. Um, so in this trial here that we're talking about this human trial with the 65 and year and older men, it increased the NAD levels in the blood. That is what gives you in part what gives you energy. So that was significantly increased. Also, they did um, strength tests. They did about three different things to see if the people who took the NMN were stronger. So one of them was a hand grip test. The hand grip test did show a significant increase in strength from the placebo people who did not have the NMN. So it did make them stronger after taking the 250 milligrams for um, 250 milligrams per day for 12 weeks. Also, they did a walking test, just, you know, how fast you can walk. The people who took the NMN were able to walk faster. Last test they did was a, um, it was a sit in the chair test. And it was a, how many times you can get up either in 30 seconds or 60 seconds. You know, how many times can you get up as fast as you can? They saw a significant increase in the people who had taken the NMN for 12 weeks. They were um, able to get up a lot more times than the people who did not. So, um, I don't, I've been taking this for, um, probably about a year now. I, I missed like a, a couple months, but now after these tests, like I'm all in, so I'm going to be ordering some more. So again, this is what we're talking about here, the N M N. And I do have to admit, um, definitely I, I, I was having some tiring issues and stuff before I can't scientifically say it's from this, but I do. Most of my days now, I take this every day. I've been taking it every day for the last probably 30, 60 days and definitely feeling better. So it's just a powdery substance. Um, you get this here. You just scoop one up in the morning and, you know, you take that. And um, like I say, this I, th th it's no longer any guessing in this. Like we were kind of we didn't know for sure because it you know it worked in animals which doesn't always transfer over to the human trials but this time it did there's no more guessing the human trials are in and it's a go it's showing that it does do the same effect in humans so um i do some more videos on revertile which is something else i take but uh let me give you this a little bit if you're new to this type of stuff who you want to be following in this who the pioneer in this one of them david sinclair research harvard um research scientist from harvard he did some of the early tests in this, got it started, um, the pioneer in this, so you want to follow him. Um, again, this trial here did 250 milligrams. I actually take 1,000 milligrams per day, which is what David Sinclair takes, and I believe he gives it to his whole family. They take 1,000 milligrams per day. So that's what I take. Um, you know, you can adjust it, you know, however you want to be, but I've been taking 1,000 milligrams per day. Some people are taking 1,500 or 2,000 milligrams per day. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I may up mine. We'll see. I'm going to do some more videos on this. Um, please, in the comments, if you have any questions, I've been following this since I think I first heard about the studies that David Sinclair was doing on the mice 
and I've been really into this for the last few years. And when I tell you this is approaching some type of miracle drug almost, not religious at all, but it the effects of it are just I, I mean you can't you can't make this up. Um, also he's even going into another stage which is um, this is where you actually alter the genetics and like some of this life extension so the bottom line of us who follow this most of us David Sinclair is to live longer a longer healthy life and the ultimate goal is to eliminate death and a lot of people may think that crazy that is crazy but it looks like we are approaching that as you know Google has a spinoff or a company um, I think it's called Calico that is that is their mission statement to um, to eliminate death so a lot going on with that. David Sinclair, I'll give you one other person to follow that I follow, Ray Kurzweil, who is uh, more into the AI and technology, um, into the technology part of trying to extend life. Um, so you might want to look at him too. I've been following him forever also. So again, just wanted to bring you that. So listen, if you like this type of stuff, if you appreciate it, if this was interesting to you, please hit that thumbs up, like, um, subscribe and share this video and um, make me any type of comment tell me what you thought if you had any questions you think I missed something um, please let me know down in the comments at the bottom and I think we covered just about everything here like I say NAD levels are up strength was increased and there are going to be more trials some of the trials with a higher dosage um, we already had previously had had the trials where it just showed that the NMN was um, that it was safe for humans. So again, will be more videos coming in the future. Do appreciate you guys. Don't forget thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll I'll let you on your next one. Thank you.